Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. It is Wednesday. That means we have one more day to look at the market and look ahead into Thursday flipping. Um, and this might be one of the last Thursday flipping videos, preparation videos that we make on the channel because after this, there's not a whole lot of incentive to be playing Weekend League. That's for sure. Unless they start throwing some different cards into Weekend League rewards. Um, there might just mean not a lot of stuff that people are playing for uh, on this game. So Weekend League rewards won't have as big of an effect on the market as they currently do now. But this week, I think there's going to be a, a big effect on the market, especially in terms of some of the higher level cards, because a lot of people are going to get a lot of coins again this week. Uh, just looking at the team of the season ultimate some of those guys with ultimate packs i mean look how many cards in here are over a million coins uh you got one two three four five six seven so seven cards over a million coins and you know a lot of those guys you have 700k 800k 700k um 800k a lot of guys that are up there as well so you can think about somebody getting an ultimate pack yeah, they're probably going to get Sarabia, Allison, Chiellini, Kimmich, Oblak. That's five players that are, you know, that's still 100K, 200K. You know, you're still getting some decent value out of those players. But then you have six more players. You might get a Sterling. You might get a Quagliarella, a Robertson. And then there's going to be a lot of people that hit a Bernardo Silva, a Koulibaly. There's going to be a lot of coins that come out of the game this weekend again. It's going to be a great, fun weekend or fun week period for to watch these rewards. It's going to be like Premier League tots all over the, again with the, basically the amount of a, rewards that are going to come out of the game. The amount of coins, I mean, that's going to come out of the game. So I want to look at these cards. And we're going to look at a lot of special cards as well because that's going to be the main draw this weekend. People are going to be building those final teams this week. You know, you might... You might watch this Neymar card because he didn't get into team this season. He's 6.4 million coins, his second week out of packs. If you see this card Wednesday night before Weekend League gets panic sold at like 6.1, that might be a buy. He could easily be 6.7, 6.8 million coins after Weekend League rewards because he's a very rare card on the market and a lot of people are going to want that for their teams. Now, somebody who I think would absolutely definitely go up would have to be this Lala card. 500k for this card, I think, is very feasible. He's the the right back that links to Mbappe that people have been using for this entire game. They've been using this guy for the entire entire of the year. Um, today, actually, I got one for 470 for my team, and he was very low today. So some of these Tots cards are going to go up out of packs, but you're going to want to focus on stuff that people are going to put in their end game teams this week. That's the main thing. And obviously, people that link to the ultimate tots because people are gonna get these cards red, more people are gonna get red Ronaldo's, more red Messi's, more red Royce's, more red Havertz. So one person that I really like, and we're gonna have to search this one up, I really like Timo Werner. Basically, all of his, both of his top two variants. Um, actually, you can go see right now on my transfer list, I have traded with this card a little bit the past couple days. I bought both of these cards at 999K and this one for a million. Sold it for like 30, 35k profit, which was really nice. This card fluctuates a ton, and he fluctuates because he's a rare team of the season card that links to both of these guys, Havertz and Royce. And if you need a striker in the Bundesliga, it's Werner or it's Lewandowski. And if you like pace, which most people do, this is the card that you're going to go with right here. So watch this guy's price, uh, especially the 90 rated, the this lower rated Werner. I bought a couple today for 240, 250. He's dropped off, off a cliff recently. And there's such a huge price grab, uh, gap between this card and this card. 1.1 mil versus 200K. I could easily see this card hitting up here like maybe upper 300Ks. He might go up 100K this weekend as a lot of people might make teams with this card um, because they, they might pack a Havertz, they might pack a, a Royce, and they need a striker to go with him. So I really like this card. And look for other stuff like that, you know. The, we talked about the Lala for the Mbappe card. I know this one's a striker, but you know everybody has M uh, Mbappe in their teams these days. Um, and even if you need a link for Lala to Pepe, you have a link opportunity there. One other person I like, you have Van Dyke in here and you have Robertson. Robertson's probably going to be somebody who gets pulled a lot this week. 
That's why I like Mr. Wynaldum's Tots card. For under 300,000 coins, I think this card's a great buy. You can He's a very good card in the game. He's pretty cheap. A lot of people can afford him, and he's a team of season card. Everybody likes Tots cards right now. And you can see this card actually took a dip today as well. 295. I think I actually have one in the club. Let's check this out. I think I have one in the club for like two something. Did I not buy one today? I could have, oh, he's going to be on my transfer list because I have the untradeable version. Duh. Of course, I forgot about that one. So I do have the I do have a tradable version. I bought one today. What was the price that I got in this Wijnaldum? 280 flat. So he's up to like 310 right now. So we rebounded nicely. But just watch for some more panic. Like every single day there's panic around 1 p.m. Because people don't know what's coming out that day. And you see he's 310 right there right now. So under 300 I think is a good price for that card on Xbox. Probably about the same for PS. Maybe 310 for PS. But I think people are going to use him this week. Because they need to link their Van Dyke. Everybody uses Van Dyke. Some way, shape, or form. A lot of people do. And this Robertson card's 300k, so it's it's really cheap. It's gone down in price a lot. I like that link. Other than that, you know, some of these other, other cards in here, if you're going to pack a top tier card, it's hard to really say how you would link those. You know, maybe some other Bundesliga cards you could look out for. Maybe some other center mids. Maybe some, like, uh, even the Kimmich card for the Goretzka link with a Royce or with a Havertz even, like a 433 or something like that. Because Kimmich is pretty cheap, 153k. That's really cheap for a right back. Even as a CDM super sub, I know people like to use that card. I, I use that card currently in my team. Um, but some of these cards are definitely going to rise out of packs. But definitely take a look at some of these other team of the week. It's basically the same thing that we always do. Um, we look through old team of the weeks. Cards that are out of packs. Special cards that people are going to want to use. Even this Brandt card. 420k. This card could be a riser this week. What's this price been looking like? Oh, I'll use 409. Yeah, if you see this card like ar around 400 or under, that could be a good look because there's a there's a healthy chunk of Bundesliga dudes in this team of the season. So Witzel this week, 320k. People love this card. Um, he'd be easy. Looks like he's maintained his price pretty well since being out of packs, which bodes well for him this weekend, in my opinion, uh, because that means people could use him to go build teams with. Nabry for 280? Wow. 280 for Nabry. That is pretty cheap. You can see that card rise up as well out of packs. The best right winger, uh, other than an SBC, Robin. The best right winger from the Bundesliga. So, again, looking through some other team of the weeks as well. I always like to shout out these foot birthday cards, man, because they drop in price all the time. Bale at a million coins right now. That's pretty low. That's pretty low over here on Xbox. That is pretty low. Um, and some of these other cards, Salah, 185, that's decently low. Coutinho, 190, that's pretty low. Um, some of these other, ooh, whoa, what's going on here? Kyle Walker, 190? Wow, it's 175 on PS. So you can, you can really catch these drops. Like these are cards that people still use in this game and that people are still gonna pay, oh my gosh. 215 for this? Wow, look at the drop off on this card's price. 400K to 215K. Some of this stuff just has to rebound because people are gonna build their teams this weekend, like their end game final teams. Some people are, some people are just gonna stop playing and not care what they get. But there's still gonna be, I think, a nice rise in the market this week. And especially with the foot birthday cards, I really like these for their position changes. Um, a lot of these cards are very rare. What is this price? 80, the, the market is dying, man. I think this is your last shot to do Thursday. Look at this. Dude, every single day at 6 p.m. UK, look at this panic. 79K. If you get on the market the midday when the content drops, that's another thing. Just get on and look around the market and look at prices. You could buy them for 79K and list them two hours later. Wow, you can make like 15, 20K on that card. That's ridiculous. That is crazy craziness, man. I saw it today with Koulibaly as well. He was 70K at one point. Now he's back to 115. Crazy stuff. Again, roll through the team of the weeks. Popular cards, some of these headliners. Even a Pogba, I mean, he's maintained his price pretty well. This Lala has dumped down in price. 139. He's down a ton. 
And that's a pretty decent sized gap between this one and the team of the season. So that's one to keep your eye on. You know, 139K for that card. It could be a nice rebounder. You know, rebound a little bit in price. And then some of these other ones, Rashford, 300K, Dembele, Screening R for, whoa, we just dropped the controller, boys. Hopefully it's good. Yeah, it looks to be good. Yeah, we're doing all right. Resume video. Rashford for 300K. <laughs> That doesn't look to be too terrible. I'd like to see it lower though. Yeah, 240 on PS. So the, you can really tell that the panic is a hit a lot more on PS. I also think that's just more opportunity for it to rise. You guys on PS, watch your panic. It hasn't happened as much over here on Xbox. But again, this week with specials, I mean, it, it's even some of the top tier cards. Like let's look at team of the years. Team of the years could really boom this week. This is a chance for people to buy team of the years to get some big time coins and to an icon moments as well. Last chance for them to buy some of these cards that they really might want for their team. A Ramos, a Varane, a De Gea. Some people say this goalkeeper is still the best in the game. Team of the year De Gea, 770K. He's maintained his price pretty well. What about Ramos? 1.49. Wow, that's pretty low. Yeah, he has dropped down a pretty good bit. You might see a rebound with some of this stuff this weekend. Maybe not on Marcelo because of the whole Sandro situation. Maybe not too much with him, but De Bruyne, yeah. You know, you have, uh, there's a couple, you know, you have the Silva card. He's in the team of the season, ultimate. So, Varane as well. What do we have here? One million coins flat, basically, for his card. Wow, he had a nice rebound during uh, Ligue 1 Tots for the French links. That's a GG. That means, that means that people like this card. So, down to a million coins. You know, I might try to snag one of these this weekend. That's a pretty good price right there. Let's look at his hourly graph. Yeah, 1075. That's a pretty dang good price for this card. 1.01, .01, you know. So again, stuff like this, you might be able to find some good deals on this weekend. If you want them for your team, absolutely, you gotta buy before rewards on the top tier stuff because those are gonna go up. What about some of these moments cards? Cruyff, 29, 9 mil, 65. Ooh, Eusebio dipped under. Some of these cards are pretty cheap. Wow, okay, this one I, I'm curious about. People love this card. 1.5 mil is what he has been on the graph. 145, 1389, one, wow. This is a card that could really boom because if you look at his daily graph, he's been like 1617 and now he's down 1.4. So that's, some of these icon moments are probably gonna move a decent a bit, decent bit in price as well just because, um, People are gonna want them for their end game teams. You're gonna see some end game team building. You're gonna see um, people going out and spending the big bucks on primer icons, finishing icon SBCs, and doing stuff like that. Hold it for under nine million coins, which is crazy. And maybe even if you're lucky, you'll find a prime R, a primer R9 on the market as well. So that's one thing to watch this week is that top tier level of cards as well. Um, just as people get all these coins from weekend league rewards and build teams and, and buy players and all kinds of good stuff like that. So uh, I think it's going to be a great weekend for weekend league rewards. If you have the coins to flip, stay with the higher rated stuff. Stay with the stuff that is going to be more expensive. Team of the years, icons, you can buy one of them. But especially like we looked at um, some of these foot birthday cards, like the Hyoman Sun. I'm going to look at that Hyoman Sun foot birthday card right now. If I see 215, I'm gonna buy that one. Because that is ridiculous. That's a crazy price for that card on Xbox. Where's that one at? 215? Is it out here? 215? It's not. 315. But no 215. There's a bid for 220. I'll watch that one. I'll take it if I can get it. Some of that stuff that is rare positionally, and some of these TOTS cards as well, are gonna definitely go up after rewards just because of so many coins coming onto the market. But then after that, for this next week, you're probably gonna to start to see it trickle down again as people lose interest uh, in the game and the game kind of starts to head downhill. But that's what we wanna look at this week for Thursday Rewards. I think it's gonna be a good week. Focus on Team of the Season cards, cards that link to Team of the Season cards, especially from Ultimate Tots. And um, definitely focus on your, your, your usual meta, OP, informs, and um, special cards as well and keep smashing these upgrade packs boys it's our last chance to pack some team of the seasons from these upgrades i need to get uh, lothar done at some point this week as well 
I have some more squads to get done. This is the last kind of opportunity to craft some 88, 86, 85 SBCs I have left. It's kind of the last opportunity to craft. We'll probably get another player SBC today. We've got Mares. We got Iniesta as well, which is kind of a, a cool card. Um, not very good, but it's a cool card you can you can craft through those SBCs as well. So make sure you tweet me those cool pulls that you get. And we will be doing uh, some rewards on Thursday as well. So be on the lookout for those. It uh, should be a good time. But if you enjoyed the video, smash a thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions. And subscribe to the channel if you're new. It's been Nate, Photocount. Catch you guys later. Peace out.